and sometimes stay with my mom when he gets mad at me for sleeping around some. So that's created some issues in your relationship, I see. Okay. Are you single, married, widowed, or divorced? I've never been married. Okay. Do you have any children? No. All right. Are you working? Yes, I work part-time at my aunt's bookstore. She's more tolerant of the days I don't come in from feeling too depressed. Okay, so I hear some maybe feelings of depressed. Okay. What is your level of education? Oh, I'm in Bowtech school right now for cosmetology. I'm going to do makeup for movie stars. <laughs> oh, that sounds really wonderful. Okay, so, but what about now? What do you do for fun now? Well, I am writing my life story, and it's going to be published. I also paint like Picasso. I'm going to sell those paintings to movie stars, too. Well, that's wonderful. Maybe someday you can show me your paintings as well. Okay. Have you ever been arrested or convicted for anything? No, the police did pick me up and take me to the hospital once. I didn't have much sleep that week and they said I was dancing around in my nightgown in a field with my guitar. Uh, I really don't remember much of that, though. Um, you know, I think maybe my mom made up that story against me because she wanted me to go back to my boyfriend's house. Okay. So that was one of your hospitalizations that we talked about earlier. Okay. What about any history of trauma with childhood or adult? Any kind of physical, sexual, emotional abuse? Well, my dad was pretty hard on us when he was around, but he didn't really touch us or anything. More just yelled at us a lot. Okay. All right. So... You know, I've, I've gathered some history here. Now I want to kind of get into more of some of the symptoms um, that brought you in to see me today. So you mentioned before um, that sometimes your depression keeps you from working at your aunt's bookstore. Can you tell me a little bit more about what that looks like for you? Well, about four or five times a year, I have these times when I just don't want to get out of bed. I, I have no energy, no motivation to do anything. I just I can't feel any interest in my creativity. I feel like I'm not worth anything because I feel that creativity slipping away. Um, so this is usually happening after I've been up four or five days working hard on my works with my writing, painting, and music. Um, everyone says I'm depressed, but I'm not sure. It could be that I'm just exhausted from working so hard. Okay. So I hear you talking about these creativity episodes right before you kind of crash, per se, this depression. Tell me a little bit more about those episodes. What do those look like for you? Oh, I love those times. Those are the reasons I don't always take my medication because I feel like I'm squashed. I have lots of energy, uh, energy to do a lot of things. I can go four or five days with very little sleep. I get lots of things done, but my friends tell me I talk too much and appear scattered. They're just jealous of all the accomplishments I'm getting done. These are the times I look to, to explore my mind and body with feeling good through sex with other people. Okay, how, how long does those episodes last typically when you have them? Uh, about a week. About a week, okay. So I want to ask a little bit more about some other symptoms that maybe we haven't talked about. Do you feel like you worry a lot or have any kind of anxiety and panic symptoms? No, no, no. I'm not a worry. Okay. Um, do you do anything that you feel like you have to do repetitively over and over? And if you can't do them, you feel like the end of the world's coming. Something like maybe count on threes or wash your hands 20 times. Anything like that. <laughs> 
No, no, I don't have OCD if that's what you're asking. Okay. 